All right, guys, so today my dad is not out here with us. We will explain why later, but um, we're gonna go work with Aspen, our little Palomino um, colt. Somebody actually came by the other day and uh, has decided to buy her. They've put a deposit down, but haven't picked her up yet. Um, so we're gonna work with her and maybe get her leading a little bit, just gentle her down. Uh, Collins love being rubbed. Um, so we'll gentle her down a little bit and then we'll try our new fan mail. We got some halters in the mail and we'll try that on Bob the goat. He's um, up in the pen up there with the other goats. We'll try that on him and we'll just see what happens today. Like and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs>
she's curious. She just doesn't know better yet. Huh. Hey, get behind her for a little bit. Just get a little bit of... Not, don't, don't scare her or anything. Just be there, all right? And if I say, like, move forward, move forward. So right now we're trying to get her to lead. The horse, usually they want to go away from the pressure and right now the pressure is all right here. So she's wanting to go backwards. Um, that's why I have Casey back there. She is, She's gonna apply the pressure back there. I'm gonna apply it here first because if, if she's willing to come forward and she steps forward, then I'm gonna be happy with it. I'm gonna release, but right now, see how she's just fighting backwards. Oh, see, but she just came forward on her own. So I'm gonna release the pressure and then I'll apply it again after she knows. Come on, come on, come on. Casey, go ahead and apply some pressure now. <laughs> see, that, that's not how we want your horse to be leading. But right now, when she doesn't know how to lead, she just that little bit of forward, even though I jumped forward and just took a couple steps, that's that's the progress that we're looking for right now. And horses learn so fast how to lead. The first step to leading is letting them, letting them like allow you to come up like this. So if they don't <clears throat> trust you enough to be in front of them, there's no way they're gonna be moving towards you. <laughs> Um, so we'll keep working on her leading, but also right now, just getting them gentle as can be so that they know that they're safe when they're around us is very important. We've been down here for 10 minutes just, and more than five minutes was spent catching her. Um, but she's already starting to lead a little bit. Casey's back there with a the rope. Um, we don't want her to get close enough. She could get kicked or anything. Um, but we do want her to apply the pressure back there if, if she won't move forward. But right now she's moving forward so well that we'll just keep going like this. Casey. You guys want to go lick cow molasses? I guarantee it'll keep you from getting coronavirus. <laughs> Comment below. I don't even know what to say to my kids. They want to go to a cow pasture and lick cow molasses. Can we stop? <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> I'll go buy you some cow molasses at Tractor Supply. It doesn't have the same body. <laughs> Why don't you explain where dad is right now since you're talking about... Oh, okay. Well, so my dad has actually had some of the symptoms for coronavirus. So right now we are all um, at home for a little while. We've all been tested now, um, twice actually. Um, in order for me and Casey to go back to school, uh, we need to be tested twice if we wanna go before the 14 days and they both have to come back negative as well as the rest of our family. Um, we'll get our first results back tomorrow or maybe even tonight actually. Um, and hopefully the second results come back soon too. Um, so we can return back to school if we're all negative. So, so, so that's, that's why these that's guys are out. At. He's not feeling good, but we're all praying for him and he'll get better, so. Yeah. Now Aspen's done super good today. Um, me and Casey will just reward her now. We'll get her to do a couple more good steps for her so she ends on a good note like that. But then um, we'll just rub her down, let her know that she did good, um, get her more used to us, let her end on a really good note, and then we'll go ahead and put her out with the other horses for the night. Go ahead and step to the side. Don't, don't put pressure, yeah? Wow. 
Good job, girl. Let's go put the fan mail on the goat, all right? Sounds good. You want to get out of the car, Casey? Yeah. Is this the bourbon? Yeah. Okay, we're trying out Sammy from Arizona Prairie Moons. Um, she made this halter. She said it was just for fun. She wanted to see if it fit a goat. So, thank you for that. Maybe I'll pick up the tiger. And it looks like it fits. Perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Casey, you want to go get the lead rope? No, that fits perfect. Like you should have him fully on the goat cart. On the goat cart? Yeah. Alright, let's go get the halter and stuff. We'll get it all set up and then we can go. Okay. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Dang, that works perfect. It really does. That's cool. <laughs> that is one big billy goat that we bred to our Mama goats. Look at that thing. He's huge. And he's a little stinky right now. Jeez. <laughs> Let's go, Bobito. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, Mom, you want to see how to jump fence? 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, that wasn't very smooth. <laughs> <laughs>